Hi everyone, it is Kaylee and I apologize if my setup is a little weird or a little claustrophobic, like we're a little close here, but you know, I just moved, I'm in a new place, I'm kind of working on, you know, figuring out a new setup right now. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about 12 months soap, which is this really cool um, black business I recently found out. They sent me some samples of the soaps and sort of what the whole business is about. And I just immediately fell in love with the concept. I wanted to share it with you all. Basically, it is about um, celebrating black history and with soap, which <laughs> if any of you guys like watch a lot of my videos, you know anything about me, you know that I am like a very scent oriented person. I love, you know, beauty products and stuff like that, obviously, but I'm especially like super into anything that smells good and these soaps smell so amazing. So if I seem a little overly enthusiastic, like a little uh, overly excited, that is why. But I also just genuinely love the concept behind these soaps. So they are called 12 Month Soap and the concept is that you are celebrating black history for 12 months of the year instead of just the one in February, which again, I just love that idea. Um, I was sent three soaps. I got Ruby, Ivy and Pearls, and um, I got Shining Bright which obviously I've been using, which is why, you know, it doesn't look the best right now. So this is a monthly subscription service. You can sign up, um, you get like a new soap in the mail every month. It has a different theme, a different, you know, look, different fragrance to it, which I absolutely love. And these are generous big bars of soap. And I just love the personal, like, artisanal sort of touch to them. They very much remind me of, like, the blocks of soap that you would get from, like, Lush or some sort of fancy, um, you know, bath and body store like that. And I love, they come with these nice little, like, recycled paper looking labels and they have you know, the ingredients listed. So, you know, if you have any kind of allergies or sensitivities, you can check that out. But one of my favorite aspects of the soap is you also receive these little cards that come with the soap and they tell you basically the significance of what this particular soap was inspired by and it's always a part of black history and it gives you like a little lesson sort of and then it also gives you some recommended reading where you can learn more about you know this particular aspect of black his history if you want to um for example ruby this soap here um I have a little card that says November 14th, 1960, four young girls, Leona Tate, Tessie Provost, Gail Etienne, and Ruby Bridges integrated to New Orleans schools. The young ladies' bravery sparked controversy and contributed to national conversation on school desegregation. This ultimately resulted in children of all races having the opportunity to attend any and every public school. Enjoy this fall back to school scent and indulge your senses in crisp apple, spicy cinnamon, and creamy sweet vanilla. Uh, and this does like smell like that. I can definitely smell a little hint of the apples in there, the cinnamon, the vanilla. I love this one. Uh, it just smells great. And I even see like hints of sparkle on the soap in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's just, these bars are so beautiful. Like for example, here's the Shining Star one I've been using. Um, it's definitely got some sparkle in it and I love how there are little stars actually floating around in the soap. Ah, and it had a very pretty like glittery 12 stamped in the center here, which I'll have a picture of the soap from when I first opened it and it was beautiful. But this one might actually be my favorite. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, 
It says it is bright, sunny citrus sweetened with vanilla, honey, and gardenia. Um, be sure to boost your mood and make you feel like a star. It is actually based on Earth, Wind, and Fire song, You're a Shining Star, which, you know, hello, who doesn't love that song? And the soap just does very much remind me of that song. It's like a great pick-me-up in the shower. It definitely lifts my mood when I smell it. And I'm just a big fan of, like... It's very strange because I normally don't like citrusy kind of smells, like strong lemon or very juicy orangey kind of smells, but I love like subtle citrus, like sort of like lemon peel and orange peel, that kind of thing, like the orange and citrus oils. And that's what this reminds me of. It is like, oh, it is such a lovely smell. I love this one. And then I have Ivy and Pearls which is a salmon pink and apple green soap that smells like a fresh, crisp Granny Smith apple, which it does. It does have a very green apple scent, which I'm gonna be honest, isn't my favorite scent, but I definitely don't hate it. Um, fruity scents just usually aren't my thing, but it is like a very happy, sweet soap. And this one is based on the first all-black uh, female sorority created by 20 young women at Howard University. So that is quite awesome. And most importantly, like the soaps themselves, how are they? Um, I absolutely love them, honestly. Like I said, these are a lot more affordable than like high-end soaps you would find at Lush and stuff, but they totally remind me of those other kind of soaps in quality. And they're filled with all kinds of really great nourishing stuff for your skin. Like there's coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, um, just beautiful fragrances and stuff. I don't believe, no, they are not vegan because they do have beeswax in them. So, you know, that's something to consider if, you know, you like to use vegan products. But overall, I just absolutely love these soaps. Um, I'm so excited to try out the other ones. I absolutely love Shining Star. And I just wanted to let you know that Brooke, the creator of this black-owned business, is having a Kickstarter right now. Um, you can get in on the bottom floor and, you know, support this great business idea and get your subscription early as well as supporting a great black owned business. And I believe there's even donation levels where you can get in on having her create your own personal soap you know, according to like your preferences. So I think that's really cool. And I just think this is a great idea. And I love that it's about like, not just soap and bringing you a really great product, but also bringing you like a really great little reminder about the, about, you know, black history and how it's a part of our everyday lives, like woven into the fabric of our everyday lives. Not just this like little thing we have to think about like one month out of the year. Um, I also particularly like it because they're very positive aspects of black history. I know, you know, certain aspects of black history, it can be a very painful, you know, reminder to be reminded of some, like, not so great spots in history. And I imagine, like, you know, if you are a black person or, you know, know someone in your life who is interested in history and stuff, this is a great little gift just sort of to remind you of like some really positive and powerful moments in you know your own history which is really the history of us all but yeah so anyway i will have a link here somewhere to <laughs> the kickstarter if you're interested and i will also have it linked down below in the description be sure to check that out you know support this business if it's something you're you feel like you'd be into get in on that soap because it is amazing if you're into smells and you know bath stuff and junk as much as I am you are definitely gonna want to get on this and you're also supporting a great black owned business at the same time and helping them get off the ground and um, lastly one thing I want to mention is I kind of would like to do a series like this where I try out black owned uh, products from black owned businesses so you know if you are a black owned business and you have any kind of products like beauty products or whatever that you would like to send me for review hit up my email and um, yeah or if you guys out there have any black owned businesses whose products you would like me to review let me know in the comments down below 
And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out 12 Month Soap and the Kickstarter if you can. And I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. And always remember that you are beautiful just the way you are and to always be yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.